this 26 Sports and CCTV High School Basketball presentation is presented by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. All right, it is the second quarter here as the Bay City's come out pretty strong here tonight. Jumped out to a 16-7 lead and uh, Nolan Zaluka just drove strong to the basket, converts and gets fouled, so give him two more. He now has seven points and he's at the free throw line for the first time tonight. He and makes Bay, that one. Bay City came to play up 19, 19 to seven right now. Um, there's a Luca and then Nick Dardis had quite a uh, uh, finish to the first quarter. A turnover right there. Jenema uh, unable to keep his guy on his back and Hoagland's pass is stolen. And Boy. another three-pointer. Kyle Kieser with his second three-point basket. Along with the two-pointer, he's got eight now in uh, Bay City with a big 15-point lead. Cadillac struggling quite a bit, Mike, against this uh, odd front zone. One, two, two. Uh, we're not moving enough, really. We're just getting one person that's moving right now is Tip moving across the baseline. Uh, we need to have some high post flashing a little bit. We're keeping two There's on the Baker. low block. He's got a long three-pointer. Is off. He gets his own rebound, though. Oh, nice look. Finds Kahani. Kahani is going to draw a foul on Aaron Norfleet, and he will step to the line. Nice pass. He has a good look. Too bad uh, Jacob Kahani couldn't handle it right away and go straight up with the ball. So here goes Jake to the line, shooting two. He is off with the first one. As we see Bay City continue that uh, substitution carousel, if you will. Um, pretty much every uh, whistle or so, they got just rotating kids in. And the guard play's been pretty good between number 22, Nick Dardis, and number four, Nolan Zaluka. Nice job by Jay Kitt in the second one. 22-8, 14-point lead for Bay City Western. You are watching Nick Dardis wearing number 22. He is guarded by Jenema. That's Schlatter with the ball. Kahani with a great jump out on that. That thing rattles around. It does not fall for freshman Kyle Kieser. Back come the Vikings. Bay City does a good job getting back, slowing down the Viking break. Turnover right here. Jump ball called. I think we're going to see that probably stay with the Vikings as I think Bay City got the ball to start it sure is. quarter. Keegan Brooks is going to check back in, replacing number five, Maddox Hoagland. Brooks is taking it out. Go ahead, Mike. I think Bay City is definitely coming to play tonight, trying to, you know, pick up win number one. It's not like their spirits haven't been broken by the winless season. Genema is off on that three. Brooks gets control, taps it out, swings around. Cooper Benson drains a three. 22-11. Good shot by Coop. Good hustle there. Vikings got to pick it up defensively. Uh, Bay City scored 22 points in a little over a quarter and a couple of minutes. That's quite a bit of points. We're not used to seeing Cadillac give that up. Hey, you're right about that, Dan. Uh, Another uh, great jump in there and help nice job by, by uh, Jake Kahani. Sure was. Benson comes back to the same spot. He's off this time. That would have been big. Bay City's Dardis is going to, excuse me, that's, yeah, that's Nick Dardis. He's going to slow this down right here. Genema waits for him at half court. Kahani with another steal. Good pressure. Baker's coming. He finds Genema up nice and off the glass. Good work. Good run. Good outlet. Good pass to Vinny. Good finish. Jake Kahani's going to be looking at some free safety time. He keeps making all these steals down here. As he heads to uh, a little Valley. football. At Grand Valley. Dardis with that shot from the short corner. Give him six for the game now. Back come the Vikings. Tips Baker. Rotates across. 
They find Brooks inside, goes to Genema, out to Benson. And that is deflected. No, it's not. It will stay with Bay City. Aiden Raphael is going to come in for Kahani, and Hoagland's going to come in for Benson. I sense a pretty spirited halftime for the Vikings. Cooper had it, you know, not a bad idea. To, uh, you know, 10 foot jump shot. That'd be my question, I guess, is uh, I was working with him. Come over, take that jump shot, son. Don't force it. I think uh, you know, part of the discussion for the Vikings will be, uh, you know, of course we're not scoring, but we've always leaned on defense. Yep. And when you're not when you're not scoring well, the defense really needs to pick up the pace. And that was a good uh, good offensive possession right there as the ball swung around amongst four players, uh, and nobody really had it for even a dribble. It was just bing, bang, boom, shot, three-pointer for the Vikings. I think that's the idea. When you're playing a zone, they let the ball do the work, move the ball, make the defense keep uh, resetting so they can never get good box situated. Good out right there, both by Janema and the rebounder on that. Oh, it's going to charge. Charge on number five, yeah, Maddox. Brooks Hogan. had a good, strong rebound right there, and uh, Maddox lowered that shoulder just a little bit. You know, Zaluka was set the, the new college and pro rules, though. He's pretty deep. Yeah. And so what you would see uh, with that new rule in the college game, that would have been a block because he set up so deep right. in the basket. Right. But of course, yeah, that, that rule those, hasn't uh, come to the high school game yet. Painted half circle uh, mm -hmm. that we don't have on the high school floors yet. Maybe we'll see that someday. I would. I think you will. I think, uh, you know, the high school game, it takes a year or two to follow the college game. Long three-pointer by Evan Schlotter. He is the third player from Bay City to drain a three in this first half. They are back up to 11-point lead, 27-16 with three minutes to go. You're watching uh, boys basketball here from Cadillac High School on CCTV and 26 Sports. I'm Dan Gussard, and with me is Mike McGlorn. Tip Baker with a three. Good hustle by Aiden Raphael, but Bay City's Garrett shared in control that. And yep, as a result, go. here come the Vikings. Keegan Brooks gets fouled as he puts it in. Garrett Sheridan picks up what I think is going to be only the fourth team foul on Bay City. And just his first. Nice defensive play by Tip Baker. Um, and then certainly the pass out, outlet pass by him also. Yeah, good run by Keegan to distract the floor. I think it was Raphael with the defensive play. Good to stretch the floor, get out on the break, get the easy ones if we can. And so Keegan, even though the Keegan Vikings have that. struggled, they find themselves only down by eight, 220, 235 to go. We got some substitution. Parker Rivard in. Parker Rivard has um, some issues with the back, so he's a little limited in playing. He's also a, a pretty strong high jumper and uh, probably is headed. Nice steal by Cooper Benson. Off to college, maybe to bring those skills. Hopefully uh, his lower back heals up the way he needs it to. I think one thing uh, we've seen this year too, Dan, is uh, how Cadillac has rallied toward the end of second, the end of second quarters. Yeah, their last couple of minutes of uh, the first half, you're right, have been quite strong. Um, and they've cut that lead from 11 down to six in just a couple of possessions. We had the game early here against uh, Traverse City Central. Dardis is off with that shot, and that's tipped by the Vikings out of bounds. Go ahead, Mike. The game this year against TC Central, we were down big first quarter, could not score. And then I think we were down 25-24 at half after being down 16-3 to three or something. Uh, to start the game. And that was the game where I don't think the Vikings had five points in 12, 13 minutes sure. of play and then scored a boatload in the last three to four minutes. There we go. Nice. A good defense. Good call. Good call right there. Uh, Nolan Zalaka. Zaluka, excuse me, uh, tried to rebound that, but he was already standing on the line as he grabbed it. The Vikings stay control. Maddox Hoagland. Good. Nice little inbound play there to Maddox. I think the defense has picked up a little as we're starting to turn some defense into offense here, Dan. 
Nice hustle by Cooper Benson. Ooh, that is a call that would bother me as a coach. To me, that's just darn good hustle. I think the fact that he hit the basketball first, played the ball, he didn't go in. Nope. That, that's a loose ball. Him. Sure. And then you're ball all entitled to it. Nope. If anything, it's a no call. I didn't even see a jump ball out of that. But it's just the fifth team foul. We've got a minute to go. Dardis penetrates. Vinny Genema says, no way. You know, uh, Dardis made that same move earlier in the game, scored on it, and I think Vinny saw that same play coming. Ball goes out of bounds off of Bay City. Here comes the Vikings with a minute to play, down just four. Hoagland crossed all the way to Raphael, who drains a three. Nice shot, Aiden Raphael. Cuts the lead to one with uh, less than a minute to play now. Not up a big loud cheer from the Viking crowd tonight. Cooper Benson and uh, Genema have tied up Bay City's number two. Evan Schlotter, I think we got a timeout call. Is that what you saw, Mike? We did. There's a timeout. Of yep. course, the, the Bay City coach right now is really arguing there was a foul on the play. I thought Caddick was playing really good defense. That was a great tie-up. Mm -hmm. Vikings jumped into the passing lanes. And a good timeout by Bay City's coach. Give me a 60-second timeout. It is a full timeout. While we, uh, we got that on there, let's uh, let everybody know that um, the uh, 26 Sports and CCTV crew will be back to Cadillac High School this Thursday night for the last regular season game. Uh, Mount Pleasant will be coming to town. And we also want to let everybody know that uh, what a great JV game tonight as the Vikings held on to a 38-36 two-point win. And the freshman also won. Freshman won tonight. Sorry your son was a yeah, little ill. did get the score. I left before the end of the game. They were up, uh, I think I saw 37-33 at one point maybe. Uh, the Vikings held on to win. A couple kids. My son was out sick. Uh, Brady's home sleeping. Home with and the then, flu, uh, huh? Another another teammate, Jacques Lamond, also homesick. But the rest of the boys did a great job. Uh, before we get back to our action here, once again, uh, we want to thank the sponsors uh, for tonight's game: Cadillac Casting Incorporated, Cadillac Tire, Napa, uh, Cadillac Lake City, and Big Rapids locations. Assist to sell and Pizza Plus. Really appreciate. Uh, them sponsoring 26 Sports and CCTV, being able to bring you this basketball game tonight. That jump shot is short, well defended by Maddox Hoagland. So 20 seconds to go if you're just joining us here, second quarter. Uh, Vikings trail 26-27 to Bay City Western. And down uh, nine at the end of the first quarter. I think the biggest lead we've seen was 12. And the Vikings have a chance with the shot at the buzzer here to take a lead. It's gonna be Cooper Benson. And it's off. Uh, Keegan, Keegan Brooks. Keegan Brooks with a nice one-arm tip in. That is good. And that'll take Cadillac to a 28-27 to lead at halftime. We're going to take a short break, and then Mike and I will be back with a little recap here at halftime. We'll let you know uh, what we saw out there. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast of boys basketball here on 26 Sports and CCTV. 